In a place called Livadi, among olive groves and vineyards, stands the sanctum of Iris, dedicated to God Dionysus. Όπως βλέπετε στο ναό, καταρχήν, οι δύο πρώτες κολόνες που υπάρχουν είναι το πρόκλημα. The temple dates back to the 6th century BC. Excavations have brought to light some important archaeological findings. Agios Procopios Beach is one of the most organized ones on the island, which attracts many young people. Water sports are available and there are schools with trained personnel both able and willing to help you conquer the seas. A beautiful traditional house shelters the women's cooperative store of folk art, where there is a great collection of handmade traditional pieces of embroidery, handwoven materials, jewelry, conserves and jams. Apiranthos is built in the heart of the mountainous regions of Naxos. The immense expanse of olive groves in the area, apart from its natural beauty, adds to the prosperity of the island. Not far from the village called the Nakos stands the convent of Christ, established in Byzantine times. It stands out 
for its unique architecture and fortification. According to the local legends, it was built by a princess. Another monastery of historical value in Naxos is that of Panagiadros Hyani, built in an old green region surrounded by olive groves. It is one of the best preserved early Christian monuments in Greece. Its interior is decorated by murals of various historic periods. One never tires of praising the beauty of the island's countryside. The further we tour the island, the more aware we become of how generously this island has been endowed with abundant beauty. In a secluded area, on the way to Filoti village, we find the Tower of Himaros. It is a circular, imposing fortress that was most likely built in the Hellenistic years. It is constructed of marble and remains in good condition. From the Tower of Himaros, we can see the beach of Kaladu. Although it is off the beaten track, you can access it either by car following the road from Filoti or by boat. The back countryside of the island leaves us with unique images. However, the capital of Naxos, Hora, shows its modern cosmopolitan face. And now it's time to try Kitro, the traditional liquor of Naxos, with exquisite taste. It comes in various flavors, as well as in conserves. Follow the much frequent alleys of Hora and discover more beauties that remain hidden there. Walk down the narrow cobbled roads of the old town. Admire the traditional Kikladic architecture, the little churches you will come across, as well as the historical buildings. <laughs> The history of Naxos involves both glorious moments and countless hardships. However, the island managed to survive them all and now welcomes the visitor with a warm smile. Each alley is not only a record of the history of the island, but also a record of each love story born under the shade of the castle.
Portara is the first and the last thing each visitor looks at. Pictures of it have traveled worldwide and today everyone is familiar with its history. As the sun sets in the sea, the city is transformed. The rhythmic sounds coming from the bars sweep you off your feet. As our tour of Naxos comes to the end, a mysteriously charming atmosphere seems to overwhelm the visitor. <laughs> 